And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved in Rush Mode. So let's add a third power here. And that one has sky clearance, so these should catch up. This one needs it, and we get a plant in the process. Yay. This is some thick land above me here so that should open that up so this should be getting absolutely plenty of power now to run full blast slowly creeping up it looks like it so that should be enough power we should be good to go there I put some hoppers out here because uh, in order to craft the, or in order to build the OET you need a thousand and f something like a thousand and fifty three of these components in order to craft it. So that's a thousand and fifty three each of the pods. That's a thousand and fifty three um, pretty much uh, anything. Um, so it's a lot. So there should be eleven of these here. And I want to just bring them out just because I don't want I don't want to mess with it for a while I want to let this run and not have to worry about it until we come and start building the OET so this will just sit and produce uh, the components for us and you know as far as our Limits go. Let's just grab some nickel. It seems to be where we're backed up for some reason. We're all backed up here. And yeah, I just cannot figure out why it's jumping, why the power jumps back and forth. So we need to think now. Now that we're starting to craft the OET, we need to start thinking about, okay, when we charge this thing, uh, what are we going to do uh, about defense? Because defense is a very, very important thing when you're charging the OET. Otherwise, uh, if you're not doing well on defense, you could lose the whole thing because... You know, if the wasps destroy your CPH while you're charging the OET, um, bad things happen. You It loses all of its charge. So it's just not, not a good situation to be in. So what is down there? That must be tin or copper. That's fine. Okay, I ran out of planks, so I might have to go cut a tree or something. Where are we going to build? Here's the question. Where are we going to build the OET? And secondly, where are we going to what are we going to do about uh, defense? With the power that we can get out of a turbine, we can uh, use lasers. That's definitely an option, although I don't have many lasers uh, built because of I don't have the eyes, the uh, not the purple eyes, but it's uh, green, I think. I don't even have the Mark II. I did get a research that are, that's done. We want advanced defense this is something we're going to need 75 ultimate and 75 advanced which is really doable that's pretty easy um, the other thing we're probably gonna want I don't know it'd be nice to have spider bot really upgraded because um, he does a lot when it comes to defending stuff his advanced his advanced weapons really help, but it's a royal pain. His his 
highest tier weapon is really hard to build because it uses 32 of the massive eyes and that's really hard to come by unless you have been unless you're being attacked quite a lot so the ultimate power grid i don't think we need that simply unlocks the mark 5 battery but it does unlock the mark 2 solars that would be a nice one to have but let's see t4 battery we're gonna want um falcors we're definitely gonna want did i do cryogenics i didn't yeah we've got a little bit of research that we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna kick out here before we upgrade or before we start charging it and time is time is getting a little it's a little close to be honest it is we're, we're cutting it down here I might not make I might not make the uh, the deadline 75 so 75 would be 50 which would be three be one two three Get these started at least one two three and another 25 would be another 50 of these one two three four five and another hundred and fifty the only thing that's unfortunate about this is I don't have I'm not getting the bars fast enough I think my I think these are emptying out I mean these are doing fine for some reason I'm doing great on gold and possibly nickel I don't need this anymore titanium though is kind of iffy this has been slowly draining out and that is a problem I need to shove more titanium into the system especially for what we need to do with like laser transmitters and stuff um, I'm doing pretty good on fuel for some reason I have two of these I think it was just so I can grab them we need biomass though and that's something that is an issue not sure actually where my biomass is I know it's down in toxic caverns but like could we do a cargo lift to it or is that just a waste of time at this point I mean it could be so anyway let's think back to OET charging so we want to charge the OET let's look at what it will take to get the OET charged we want to look at are there any batteries in here that we're going to want to no. know so let's look at a few batteries I want to take out I don't need um, the greens anymore we're kind of beyond greens so we're into the mark threes now so I need a space for the OET so I'm thinking like maybe right here we build the OET and I surround it with turbines now the fuel for these you know it's going to be dumping we're going to be dumping so much power into the OET it's actually going to charge relatively fast the issue right now is actually clearing the land out and that is the problem because we don't have nearly the ability to 
um, do this efficiently. So if I say beamed that like that, put a that there, can I do a lens? I do have ruby lenses. So how much land does that take out? It's pretty good. Pretty loud, but I could do a vertical BFL, but I really don't want to do that because for one, it's a little hokey because you can't actually do that. It's not really designed to. Um, and two, it might explode and blow itself up, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, see we have empty fuel canister. See we all this time we've only we've only used ten fuel for this thing. Yeah, I think I want to clear this area out. Get the OET area set up. I need to start building uh, more turbines. I'm gonna need a lot of turbines, which means I'm gonna need a lot of these crystal clocks, or these uh, advanced machine blocks. And the only real way to get those right now is uh, a manual setup. Where is my... So this is my steel smelter. So this takes nickel and iron. So I can build 300 at a time, not too bad. So nickel, iron, wow. Okay. We have a, an area now. Whoa, I did not expect that. We have a little area now that we can work with. So I think because the OET is 13 blocks tall, and if we're gonna do turbines around in the pattern I'm thinking of, we're gonna want at least a 15 or a 16 block head, you know, headroom above my floor here. So I'm gonna need some space to clear all this out. I could use the excavators, but they don't get rid of ore, which can be a problem. Because if any coal, if there's any coal or anything, um, it'll get in our way. I, I want to destroy it. Now, if I had my mod that does the Mark II excavator, I could clear most of this land out with one or two of them. But I'm doing this, doing this playthrough without any mods at all, because I want to get this. I want to try for this in a in a vanilla, legitimate sort of way not cutting any corners or doing anything. We've only got 72 of these things right now. So our crafting speed uh, on, it looks like our nickel still, still hasn't caught up. Are you serious? I'm trying to uh, store power. So it looks like it's pretty even. For some reason our nickel was really lagged behind. All the other ones are perfectly up to date. As far as how fast this goes, not sure. I mean, I could build like 50 of them over there and just bring them over here. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. Okay, my BFL should be fine. It's loud and obnoxious. So you can't forget it's there. It's the only reason. 
Okay. That's set up. Now... One way I could speed this up is adding a battery like so, and another one of these with a lens. And now it'll be twice as fast. One, two, one, two, three. Don't fall. Thank you. So now we've got two of these things going, and now it should be super fast. Not, not like constant fast, but faster than it was. So I think I had a macerator set up here. I want to get rid of some of the garbage that I've got on me, namely like snow, Lance. Um, kind of want to keep the bug parts. There's another plant. Okay. So, how are we doing over here? Also, how are my pods doing? So these are still not done. 30 there, 30 there. So I could start that research. Let me do something that uh, a lot of people have questioned why I didn't do it this way. For some reason, I don't know why I don't hook up my, the lab, you know, input on my output of pods. I don't know why I do it that way. But let's hook this up. Kickstart, advanced defense, which is the blue and gr or blue and gold. So there we go. Now we've got power. And now this thing uses um, less power to research. Takes more power here. Like for instance, this is not actually keeping up anymore. So that is the problem. So let's see if I can build a couple more solars. See if I can't beef this up a little bit. How about some batteries too? Oh, uh, why not? Oh, I always do that. When I'm in a hurry. I could start using enriched coal once I get enough pristine glands. But I don't have nearly the pristine glands available yet. Okay, this BFL should be quite complete. Picking up the drops, um, I think drops like this I don't think they cause too much lag. They only lag it when it starts, when they fall. So if I were to dig out from underneath here, then since they would fall to the ground, they would actually cause some lag. But I do want the blocks for building materials so I can build a, a an area for this thing. So let's go this direction now and get the next one ready. One, two, one, two, three. Whoa. All right. For reasons that is, I don't know why that was gapped like that. Random misclicks, that's what I chalked that up to. So these should be going pretty good. These actually started getting a little charge which is good because those need to work at full speed in order to keep this thing running. Okay. I 
think that's enough. Take you down. And uh, put you there. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.